Hello, this is a revised um, review of Bible Highlighters. The one I made yesterday was kind of misinformative. Um, I, I discovered that after I opened my Bible today and found some highlighter bleed through that wasn't there the day before. So I'm going to just redo this. Um, if you're going to have, uh, you know, use highlighters, I suggest getting a mug, a really cool mug, to hold your highlighters in. Now, there are a few kinds of highlighters you can use. First, you can use these dry highlighters. They are much like a crayon. I got this pack from Barnes & Noble for about $13. They come in yellow, pink, green, and blue. The major advantage of the dry highlighters is that they do not bleed through the paper at all. Zero bleed through. The disadvantage is that it takes a significant amount of pressure to get a deep enough highlight. And due to needing to apply a significant amount of pressure, highlighting can be somewhat time consuming. Another kind of highlighter you can get is by using a marker type one. This is a major accent highlighter. I do not recommend using these. Major Accent makes these. Sharpie makes a brand of these. Um, if you use these, they will bleed through your Bible paper like crazy. Even if your Bible paper is somewhat thick, it's still going to bleed through. I would not re recommend using these. Another type of Bible highlighter the one yesterday I gave a good review to, but after further review, I'm not going to give it such a good review, is a Sharpie highlighter. And on it, it says Smear Guard. Okay, when I used this yesterday, actually I used it on my Bible after church, after I went to Walgreens, there was hardly, there was no bleed through. But when I opened my Bible today, I found bleed through. It wasn't significant, but it was just enough that if you're kind of persnickety, it's going to bug you. And you would come back to my initial review and say, dude, you're nuts. So, it's not super duper 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 strong bleed through, but it's just enough that if you're going to use a Sharpie smear guard, mm, you might not want to use it. Another kind of highlighter is a Sharpie gel highlighter. It's, it's just what it says. It's a gel highlighter. Um, this would be my second best recommendation to use. A Sharpie gel highlighter. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to apply it. It's rather quick to highlight with. Um, I don't see any bleed through on my paper here, um, and it, and it gives a pretty good highlight. It's not super dark, but it's good enough. So this is my second choice to choose, it would be a Sharpie gel. Now here's my ultimate choice. I recommend this, a Stable Boss highlighter. It is not a dry highlighter. It is not a gel highlighter. It is a marker type highlighter. And it does not bleed through. Well, okay. You really have to look close to see any bleed through, okay? Let me just say that. I'm looking at my Bible and I just, I, I kind of see it, but I don't see it. I would recommend this the most, um, just because there's hardly any bleed over at all. Um, these are kind of harder to find. They're kind of expensive, maybe. I've seen them run anywhere up to three to four dollars a piece. If you look in the right place, you can get them for a dollar fifty to two dollars. Staple Boss highlighters. These come in yellow, blue, green, and pink. I prefer the yellow. Okay. So we'll just go through a run through again here. Stable O Boss, my number one recommendation. 
the Sharpie Gel Pen. Sharpie Gel Highlighter, my second recommendation. No bleed through, easily, easy to apply. Kind of a light highlight, but whatever. My third recommendation, a Sharpie Smear Guard Highlighter. Um, there is some bleed through, but it's not that bad. The one I would not recommend at all is a major accent or a sharpie one like this. Just way too much bleed through. And if you want no bleed through whatsoever, get a dry highlighter. Um, significant amount of pressure, very slow to highlight. Really not my favorite, but it'll get the job done. Thank you for watching this revised Bible <laughs> Bible highlighter video. I am sorry if you went out yesterday after my first video and invested in highlighters that were not good. God bless. Have a good day. And don't forget to have a cool mug to have your highlighter in. That's essential. Thank you.